All right, it's still a high octane action, all that kind of stuff. People exploding, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but let's talk about what I don't like. This is your boy Mean. Welcome to the channel where anime manga means uh, where anime and manga means more. Look at me messing up. Um, I'm on uh, what's it called? This is the North Star Part Two, right? Now I'm halfway done with that. So I only got one more video and I'm completely finished with the uh, Fist North Star thing, like, period. Um, what I want to say is this. The series, like, so far I'm halfway through, it's, it's, it's decent. It's not mediocre or anything like that. It's not, it's, de it's decent. It's, you know, it's cool. It's a transition from, um, Fist North Star, but I don't, let's talk about what I don't like. Okay. Now, Ken Shiro comes back after all this time, and um, which really wasn't a lot of time, but it was enough. It had to have been maybe five years. You know, and now that I think about it, the time got to be messed up because they said that he had left this island 20 years ago, right? 20 some years ago. And back in, we should call him a limb, what they had to be like, um, I mean. What would he have to be? 13, something like that? 14, something. And she had to be like 12. Now they're in their 20s. Got it. They look like they're in their 20s. Maybe early 20s. You know what I'm saying? 22, 23. Had to have been a few years. You know what I'm saying? Would that imply that Ken was like 17, 18 when the series first started? He don't look like that. It looked like he was like 30 or something. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't get that. That kind of, that kind of threw me off. But... Um, and when he came back, he had a beard and everything. I'm thinking, okay, now I didn't know this for sure, but I'm thinking, okay, maybe we can, you know, have him with a beard. I think that would have made it a lot different because then he look, um, cause he's coming back. I don't say he doesn't have to have the full Santa Claus, you know, going on, but if he had a mustache or something, then it'd be like, okay, this is a different Kenshiro now. He went through such and such, such and such. This is a different guy now. He comes back looking the same, right? Which is cool. And his outfit, his outfit, it's not as good as the first outfit. Because that red shirt made a big difference. It was like tied everything together. Now he looks like real plain. It looks real, real plain. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Now I have really had no problem other than that. Um, and with the artwork, like, they keep trying to make him look younger than what he was when he was in the first series. That's one thing I don't like. Another thing is... The first villain we get, like, in the first half of, uh, of part two, he was crappy. The first villain, he was crappy. Now, I think that maybe this first half of this series should have been a movie. You know what I'm saying? It looked kind of like filler-ish, but they kept going back and tying things in to the first series. So, it was like, it can't be filler, but it looked filler-ish. And he just goes through wreck shop and that's it. Which, you know, which, which we should be used to by now from the first series. But wasn't as much backstory and stuff like that going on. And the, the storyline didn't just seem as, as, as engaging as the first one. But, like I said, it, it's, it's decent. You, I, think, I would advise checking it out. But don't go into it thinking, okay, this is going to supersede, you know, the, the first half. The first part, you know, Fifth North Star Part 1. It didn't do it for me like that. Now, another thing that, that kind of threw me off, which also makes it seem like it's filler, they showed the planet, right? Now, this is another... Uh, well, okay, so there's a nuclear holocaust, right? Wipes everything out. Why would the water disappear? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, so let's say the water does disappear from this nuclear holocaust. I don't know what kind of weaponry. They got clouds. So what are the clouds still doing there when there's no water? But anyway, um, let's say that the water did disappear. They showed the planet, and the planet was a complete barren wasteland. Now, and that's kind of strange too because it's flat. You know what I'm saying? It should like it should be? You should see continents, then big dips where the uh, where the oceans used to be and stuff like. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, when we cut to this part, like once we get to the land of uh, Asura with um. There's an ocean. They said it's the last one left. They didn't show that in the picture. Meaning that if they showed that, in, if they, if, when they showed the picture and there was no water at all, 
That means that they weren't showing the side of the planet that the protagonist was on. They couldn't have been because they showed the protagonist, right? Go past uh, Mamiya's, you know, old spot. So they had to be some, a Sura a or whatever can't be but so far from where they was originally at. See what I'm saying? It can't be that far. So they had to be showing a different part of the planet. So that makes it, it makes it seem like it's filler to me. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that shouldn't happen. But yet they keep going back to tie it up with other, you know, go back and, you know, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh... Like alter, like the uh, not alter, but um, branch off of the old, you know, storyline and you know plots and everything like that. But really, all in all, it's decent. But I think it, it should have been a movie. Now, when, when we get to the land of the sword, it seems a little better to me. It really does. Reason by reason being, because they finally going in the king's background and also uh, Rao. Remember what I said in the last one? That was another problem I had. But they finally going into it. But like I said, I'm really not feeling that art style as much. Although I like this art style. It seems like they try to make stuff just too young, which I that's what one thing I don't like. But this I think this uh the part when they got to this, you know, island is a little bit better than the first part. And I'm gonna finish watching and see what's going on. But like I said, it's decent. And I think that it's got better, you know, once they get past the the first villain. But like I said, it's not as good as the first one. But I still would recommend watching it. Just don't go in there expecting the world. Alright, but I'm going to uh, hit y'all up the next one. As soon as I get finished uh, with the last 20 episodes, I'm going to hit y'all up with that. And I'll be back to see y'all, whatever, yada, 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 yada. Y'all already know what to do. Comment. You know, comment. Leave your comment. Let me know what you think. Whether you watched it or not. You know, if you watched it, please let me know what your feelings are on it. Uh, rate the video and everything. Subscribe and all that good jazz. And I'm out. Peace.